Until we weren't Built a home and watched it burn mm, I didn't wanna leave you I didn't wanna lie Started to cry but then remembered I I can buy myself flowers moment and I just thought this song had so much power and confidence and sensuality. I thought it was the perfect song to do around this time of year and to really turn the focus inward on ourselves and loving ourselves more and celebrating ourselves more. So all you will need for class today is some heels and either a robe or a button-down shirt that you can easily remove, some water, and we will get right into all right, my loves, if you're ready, let's dive into this choreo. Make sure you have your robe on or you have a shirt that you can easily take off. And the intention, the messaging behind this routine and this song, Miley is like really expressing herself through this song, the pain that she's went through and how she's come to this place of self-love. And she's like, I can hold my own hand. I can take myself dancing, like I can be there for myself better than anyone else. And if you haven't watched the music video or heard all the tea behind it, I definitely suggest diving down that rabbit hole because if she did film the music video like they say she did in the house that her ex-husband Liam cheated on her with, in the dress of one of the women that he cheated on her with, mind-blowing, amazing, and she is like owning her power. She's saying, yeah, this happened to me, it sucked, and I'm way better for it, and I just not just fantastic energy so that's the vibe that i want us to bring to this it's very powerful and confident it's not like a typical burlesque routine there's definitely more like heels technique elements in it and stuff like that but it's still burlesque because we are performing and because we're really embodying the character and like i said watching that music video and hearing a little bit about the story i feel like will really help you to tap into that character so we start this routine in our bevel and she says um, built a home and watch it burn. So we are in our bevel. We are going to look up slowly when she says burn. Yes, we are going to walk one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. These are really soft, casual steps. Our hands are coming up our body, and then we're going to shake our hair a little bit. Yeah. So we're going to walk one, two, three. Four, and really connect to her lyrics. She's saying, I didn't want to leave. I didn't want to lie. But then I remembered that I can buy myself flowers and that kind of thing. So I want us to really be like feeling our feels before we really like light the place on fire. <laughs> okay, so we go five, six, seven. We look up slow. I didn't want to leave. We go, I didn't want to lie. We take a little fudge step with that back leg. We're just going to step forward in order to go booty around to the back. Yeah, so we finish. We walk one, two, three, four. We step, baby step, and then we take a side step. Booty goes around to the back. As it does, we're bringing our finger down our cheek when she says cry. This is on cry. Yeah, it's like mm, sad tear, one tear, <laughs> single tear. Okay, so we go five, six, seven, we walk one, two, we walk shakety, shake, we step, cry. From here, we're just gonna bring our feet together to go hands across, hands open. One, 
two. As we do this, we're looking over our shoulder. One, two. Yes, this is on um, cry, remember, and then we go ah, with the head. So the head kind of takes a little rainbow back to the front. So we go remember, I, and then we're going to just walk to the side, walk to the side, walk to the side as we undo our rope, but it's a little bit more like runs, like burlesque runs. So it's like one, two, three. My knees are really bent and I'm stepping side, cross, side to come into my bevel and we're gonna undo our rope, okay? So what that looks like is after I go one, two, rainbow the head, I'm going to start untying side, 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 I should be completely undone with my rope, or if you have like a button-up shirt, you should just have one button um, done, that way you don't have to undo a bunch of buttons, just one button, and like take your time with it as you're pulling it off. And I'm gonna go one, two, three. When we get here, we're going to pull it down over our arms, and we're gonna go shimmy, 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 and up, yes. So shimmy, 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 and then we're gonna grab it in our hand, yeah. Okay, doesn't matter which hand. So you're gonna go shimmy, 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 and then take it all the way off, okay? So essentially this part might take a little bit of time to feel comfortable, especially with the music, because it's gonna be different every time, but if, if you have a rope on, think about pulling the bottom um, little section here instead of the hoops, pull the bottom, and it's gonna be a little bit easier for it to come off. When this doesn't work for me is when I'm trying to undo it from the bow. <laughs> so try to undo it from the little tail of the bow. So we go one, two, rainbow the head, boom. This is when our energy changes from sadness to confidence, fire, passion. Our badass energy is like kicking in and like even I want your facial expression and stuff to change to light up a little bit more. It's the realization that she doesn't need someone else there to support her. She can support herself. So that's what after this head is boom, 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 shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. And uh, yeah, it's all very powerful. So let's go back just a little bit. We'll do it till there and we'll add on a little bit more. This is a fun part about taking a strip tease class. You have to constantly put your clothes on and off and on and off, and it's like a whole thing, but it's totally worth it. It's so much fun. So let's say we just did um, a cry. We go one, two, so cross, open, you're in that deep bevel. We rainbow the head. We step side, cross, side, I'm gonna get my robe or my shirt, go shimmy, 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 up. When I shimmy, it's like I'm looking at someone in the corner because burlesque is all about performing to the audience. So it's like I'm performing this little shimmy to someone that's like sitting in the audience. So I go shimmy, 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 grab. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab it in my hand. I'm going to step to the side. I'm gonna go whip, whip. Yes, so all that's happening is I'm changing my weight, changing my weight. I'm going boom, boom. Yes, so good, okay. So you just came up, you grabbed it in your hand, you're going to step out to the side, whip, whip, and then to finish with the rope, we're going to take it up between our thighs, boom, pull it through, yes. So you wanna make sure that you bend enough so you can grab it on the other side. We pull it through, and then we're gonna to toss it. Okay, so again, we shimmy, 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 we grab the rope, we whip, whip, and like really whip it, like whip your hair, do whatever you wanna do, whip, whip, I'm taking it through, boom, and then I pull up a little bit slow and sexy to toss. Yes, good, good. Okay, let's take it back a little bit and then we're going to add on just a tiny bit more to finish up part one. So let's go back from where we just did this moment and the head rainbows across. So we're in our bevel, we go cross, open, head rainbows to the front. We grab the bottom of our little string or our button and we side, cross, side. We take it off, my feet are just together here. We go shimmy, 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 up, grab. We whip, whip, we bring it through, catch pull through, and toss. 
you should end once again in a bevel. So we're in our bevel. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna take a back step, a back step, a back step. But what's happening is I'm actually kind of like popping into it. Yeah, I'm doing like a little poppy step. So I go, that's not the name of the, it's not the name of the step, a poppy step. That's just what I call it. So we go one, two, three, and I'm like shaking my hair like a little bit crazy. Cap, cap, cap. Mm -hmm. And so I'm popping the knee, popping the knee, popping the knee. Yes. So we go one, two, three, and we have another little fudge step back, and we're gonna hair whip. Mm -hmm. So that little fudge step just means I'm like stepping right underneath my body. So we did toss with the rope or your shirt. We're gonna go shake, 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 ta ta ta. We step back, we're gonna do a hair whip, boom, and then we're gonna sit with our little bum. Cause she says, I can talk to myself for hours or something like that. Um, so we go, we go shake, shake, shake. I'm gonna step out to the side for this hair whip. I'm not going all the way down into my bent leg like we usually do. I'm keeping my body straight and I'm just hair whipping to the side, finishing with kind of a little body roll to sit. And this knee should be bent, they both should be bent, but I'm kind of like popping up on the heel. Yeah, boom. Yes, or boom. However you wanna go into that with this opposite arm, but you have like your little foam and you're like tilting your head to the side. So we did shaky, shaky, shake. I step a little bit back. It's not even really a back step. I'm kind of stepping just out to the side so I can hair whip. So I go shake, 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 step to the side, slash back, hair whip, boom, and sit. Yes, 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 yes. Really popping out that hip, boom. All cute and stuff, because you can talk to yourself for hours, <laughs> okay? So, oh, the other thing I wanted to say too, for this hair whip, the reason I'm not falling is because I'm putting my body weight back into my booty, back into my legs, and I'm thinking about going down to come up. I'm not thinking about diving forward because if I do that, I probably will fall forward. So I'm thinking about bringing it up as fast as possible and really using that arch of my head and of my neck um, and going into this kind of body roll to get me up really fast. So we hair with boom and click. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. The hair is always in the face after hair whip, but it's fine. Okay, so we're going to stop there for part one. Let's take it back after we did the whips, just to like remember what we did, and then we'll take it back from the tippy top before we run it with music. Okay, so grab your rope just to do the little whip whip action and between the legs. So everybody got their rope and their shape. Okay, so we go whip whip. We bring it through the thighs, boom, pull it up real slow, toss it. We go one, two, three. I step side slash back, boom, hair whip to click. Yes, 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 amazing job. So let's go all the way from the top, slow, mid-tempo, and we're gonna do it with music twice before we move on to part two. And as always, you guys, these tutorials are for you, so if you feel like you need to run part one, um, the tutorial, a few times before you move on to part two, that's totally fine. I do that when I'm learning online classes, so do what works best for you, but let's go from the top. Okay, so I totally lied to you babes. Because this routine is a bit fast, I wanna go really slow from the top, and then I wanna go mid-tempo from the top. Um, that way you can get a feel for all the moves slowly, make sure you have them, and then we will do it a little bit faster and then do music. Just because this is a really quick burlesque routine, I wanna make sure that you feel super comfortable in the moves before we try with music. So, starting in our bevel, going really, really slowly, we go five, six, seven, head comes up, slow, look. We go walk, Walk, hands come up the body, walk, we do a little fudge step to the side, boom, two, three, cross, open, head. We untie, untie, side, shimmy, 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 up, 
We go whip, whip. We bring it through the legs. We toss. We go shake, shake, shake. We step here, whip, boom. We drop it down, click. Yes, yes, amazing. So that was everything really slow. Hopefully it solidified it for you. This time I'm going to try to talk through the lyrics with you. That way you know the musical cues a little bit faster than we'll do it with music. All right, my loves, starting from the top in our bevel, a little bit faster. We go five, six, seven, look up on burn. We go, I didn't want to leave you. I didn't want to lie. Started to cry, but then remembered I. We walk, I can buy myself flowers. And up we whip it, write my name in the sand. We toss, talk to myself for hours. Click. Yes. So hopefully that little walk through with my vocal cues was helpful. Now we're going to do it with music twice. It is going to feel fast at first because this is 100% a fast burlesque routine. So please do it over and over again until you feel comfortable with the speed. The speed always comes when you feel comfortable in the moves. So again, if you need to take part one again before even trying it with music, totally fine. And when you're ready, meet me back here for part two. Make sure that you hydrate, have a moment to breathe, and then we'll get right back into it. Till we weren't built a home and watched it burn. part two. So we finished part one with this little click and the sit. What's going to happen is I'm going to take this leg to the front. So I'm just pivoting on my foot to bring this leg to the front and I'm really bent into that back leg. We're going to roll the hip, roll the hip. So just do this with me. Roll, roll. But what's going to happen is I'm going to throw my hands at the same time. So she says, with things you don't. So I'm going throw, 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 and my hips going hip and hip. So I go one, two, three. It's like a little, I'm doing this kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. One, two. I'm going to drop it down, hair width up. And to finish, I'm going to blow a little kiss to the front. It's like a really just cheeky moment, playful moment. So let's take it back. We just did click with our phone. We pivot on that foot to go throw, throw, as we roll the hips, one, two, I drop it down, hair whip up, thinking about bringing the crown of my head to my tailbone, and then blow. And this blow is going to initiate a turn, which is probably the hardest part of the entire routine. So after we go blow, what's gonna happen is, I'm going to turn on my front foot and passe my back foot. And I'm using my back arm whoo, to help whip me to the front. Yeah, okay, just try it a few times with me. So we go one, two, drop down, come up. We kiss below. I'm going to push myself onto that front foot. Opposite foot lifts, and then we run out of it. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to hold it in that passe. You're gonna step right out of it. So we did um, boom, you're gonna go Walk, walk, and then we're gonna go into some salsa basics, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> so let's do that again one more time. So what's helping me is I'm pulling this foot up and I'm pressing my opposite leg down into the ground like it's a rooted tree into the earth. And I'm trying to get my head to uh, 
snap to the front as quickly as possible. It's called spotting. And I want to spot my head to the front. That way, that's where I go. If you spot another place, you're going to probably end up facing that direction. An option to take this out after we do this, you can just hold this pose and then go into the salsa basic. You can go kiss, blow. You can just take your time and then totally skip the turn if it doesn't feel good to you. If you're doing the turn again, using this arm to help whip you around to the front, okay? And you don't have to go up on your tiptoes because if you're wearing heels, you're already in tiptoes. <laughs> you're already on your toes in a way. So you don't have to think about lifting up if you don't want to. Okay, so we did one, two, I drop it down, I'm here with up, kiss, blow, I turn, I'm gonna step, step, and then I'm gonna take it out to the side, we're gonna do a salsa basic. So you have two steps, so you go one, two, actually I think it's the other foot, one, two, and then we go salsa basic, so I'm just taking my foot out to the side, I'm rolling my hip, together. My arms are just real casual. I'm really bent. You have a lot of time here. It's actually a part in the music where it slows down quite a bit. So I go roll the hip and then I'm going to step out to the side. I'm going to grab my chest, do a little boop boop, and I'm going to flick the foot. Yes. She says I can take myself dancing. Boom. Ka. Mm-hmm. Yes. So that part actually really, really slow. One thing that I noticed when I taught this class live was that a lot of babies rush that part, but if you really take your time, you'll hit this right before um, hold my own hand. Yeah, so I can take myself dancing, boom, ka, around, and I can hold. That's how we're gonna finish uh, this section. So we go click, click, boom, hold. We're taking the booty around. And like squeezing the chest together. I'm stepping out to the side, hold. As soon as I do this and finish this little hip roll, I bring my hands up overhead. So I go boom, and then I go boom. So I'm going the opposite way. So I went this way, and now my hips are gonna go that way. Yeah, so what's happening is I'm circling my chest. My knees are going out as I circle my chest. That way I end in this position. Okay, that was a lot. <laughs> so let's take it all the way back, make sure that we have that part good, and we're going to finish up with some floor work. We are almost done. So we ended on click, we bring that foot forward, we go roll, roll, we drop it down, hair width up, we blow, yes, we turn, passe, step, step, we have our little salsa basic, we step to the side, we flick that leg and we go chest around. Yeah, so it's a little rebound effect. I go boom, around, and then I go around to drop it down. Uh-huh, okay, let's finish this. So we go boom, I'm going to bring that knee down, and I'm going to slide to the ground as much as you can. Obviously, I'm not sliding very much, I don't have knee pads on and it's on hardwood floor so I can't like really slide into it but we want it to be kind of like a little magic mic mini moment <laughs> okay so we did our little round boom I go slide I'm just sliding down on that leg and I'm bringing my hand down my body I continue the leg forward so my um, once I slide my leg just kicks out and then I bring it around to hair whip. Yeah, so it's like, whew, I just have to my leg, and then I take it back the other way. So, what's going to happen? This leg is giving me momentum. It should sleep all the way back. As that happens, my hair whips, boom. I end in this position. My toes are pointed for the goddesses, and I'm arched, boom. And I'm going to continue this hair whip to all fours. So it's like one big continuous hair whip, yeah? And really the hair whip is just giving me the momentum that I need to get around, okay? So one more time, just like that. We did this little 
we slide it down, click, I extend the leg forward, I press it back, hair whip, I hair whip again, all fours. And you want to make sure you're looking at the front. Okay. From here we have our classic cat-cow pops. So I'm going to take opposite hand to opposite leg. I'm going to go one, two, three. I'm going to go one, two, three. And then to finish, I'm going to come up to face the back. So you literally just push yourself up. I'm going to go booty grab, booty grab as I'm bouncing. So it's like bounce, bounce. I bring my knees together, hug myself. And to finish, we're going to just flip our hair in a way that feels good to you. I'm kind of doing figure eight hair whips and it's a little bit hard to do when your arms wrap around you. So I'm kind of just like shaking my head back and forth really fast, but it looks so good from the front. So you're giving yourself a little hug here. This is kind of like our like initiation of self love, just like really bringing it through at the end of the choreo. She says, I can love me better, baby. So we go, can love me better. I can love me better, baby. And then you can just freestyle from there. I go into a split sometimes. Sometimes I like dive forward and like take my hands between my legs. Whatever you want to do, make it sassy. You make it like a little ratchet if you want to. Just have fun with it. So we go from here, we go click, 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 and click, click click, we kind of hold that last one. We go bounce, bounce. My knees come together. I go here first, and then I go one, two, three, four. I can love me better, baby. I think it might be five. I can love me better, baby. And then whatever you want to do after that, okay? Just make sure you do something, because it needs to have like a final pose at the end. So let's take it from we just transitioned to this move and we're going down to the floor. We do our little slide moment. We take that leg out, extend, hair whip to the side, open, this is kind of a pause. We hair whip again to all fours. We go one, two, three, and one, two, three. We go booty, booty, knees together. When my knees come together, that's when I Cross my arms. You want to make sure you can see your fingers on the other side. That's like kind of the whole point of it is to look like that like little middle school thing we used to do where you were like pretending people were like making out or whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? So you're like here and we go whip, 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 whip. Final pose, okay? So that part's really fast after the um, little pops. Boom, 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 ta, 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 ta. It's pretty quick. Um, so just know that it's coming and just like get wild with your hair. I want you to just really like feel super free in that moment. Um, okay, so now what I want us to do is take it all the way back from the beginning of part two. We're gonna walk it slow. Then we're gonna go from the top at medium tempo and then we're going to do it with music twice. Okay, so let's take it all the way back from where we just did this little sit moment with the phone. So we go click, we go one, two, we drop it down, here with up, we go kiss below, we pass and turn, walk, walk. We do a little salsa basic, we do a little flick, we go round, two, three, we open, two, three, I slide it down, Boom, I kick it out, hair whip around, hair whip again, boom, boom. We go one, two, three, and one, two, three. We go booty, booty, knees come together, arms go around, whip, 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 and then whatever you want to do from there. All right, my loves, grab your row or your shirt. We are going to run it from the top, medium tempo. I'm going to try to give you those lyrical cues, those musical cues, and we're going to do it with music twice. So starting in our bevel, looking down, we go five, six, seven, head comes up on burn. We go, I didn't want to leave, I didn't want to lie, started to cry, but then remembered I. 
we go, I can buy myself flowers up with, write my name in the sand, two, three, toss. This is on talk to myself for hours. Click, say things you don't understand. We go kiss below. There's no musical cue for that. We turn. I can take myself dancing. Bum. Click around. I can hold my own hand. This is on. And I can love me better than you can. This is can love me better. I can love me better. We go to the back. Can love me better. I can love me better, baby. And then a move or a pose. <laughs> Great job, my loves. You've made it through the entire tutorial, and now it's time to run it with music. We are going to do it with music twice, and as always, the first time we're going to be focusing on simply the choreography, the technique, making sure we get the moves, and then the second time through, more of the performance, the character, the musicality. This is a burlesque routine and it's very much message focused. It's very much about the lyrics. It's very much about who she's talking to and the communication and the energy she's putting into it. So I want you to do the exact same and give yourself grace. It's a fast routine. So if at first, if it feels a little wild, a little crazy, just keep doing it over and over again until it feels like you can finally play. I always make sure that I get to a place in my online tutorials when I'm learning that I feel like, oh, this is fun now. I'm not thinking about it. I'm enjoying this. I feel good in my body. I feel confident. And that's what I want you to feel. Okay. So let's do it with music twice. You babes have got this. Till we weren't built a home and watched it burn. or the choreography or the moves. I can really care less if you do those. I want you to feel something after. I want you to feel good. I want you to feel hot in your body and confident and like a sexy badass. And with Miley Cyrus definitely is in this music video. Please go watch it <laughs> after. And I'm just sending you baby so much love. Thank you so much for dancing with me today. And I will see you in the next video. Mwah.